Hello everyone, welcome back to I'm Already Tracer. That's um yep, that's that's what you're watching, guys. No, welcome back to old school guys. Today we're gonna be working on some quests, guys. So in the previous video, I leveled up my agility, and actually off camera, I've gotten from level 30 to 37, I think. Actually, no, 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 I got from like level 34 to level 37. Uh but yeah, I'm hoping to get level 40 soon so that I can actually head to the Cantivist course. I don't know if I said that right. I don't have it up in front of me right now. But yeah, hopefully I can get to that course soon so we can get some more Marks of Grace and then hopefully by the Mark of Grace set. So I'm going to take a bit of a break from skilling uh, and because I want to do some quests. So a sort of goal that you guys suggested in the previous live stream. Uh, for everyone who tuned in, thank you. I really appreciate it. Also, in my previous video, the Agility Dimension actually did really well. Uh, I think YouTube recommended it. So if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. I really hope you enjoy my content. And yeah, just thank you so much for sticking around and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And it's great to see that uh, YouTube was recommending my content. So hopefully it was a good recommendation. But something that you guys suggested I could go for is maybe the quest cape. So you get that by completing all of the quests. And I think the mini quest as well. I'm not, not entirely sure. So yeah, we've got a lot of member quests to do. Um, like a lot of them. So I was thinking today, I've got about four, three or four hours that I can play. And I think I'll just go through as many quests as I can and I'll just periodically update you guys. So let's just jump into the quest, guys. So the first quest I'm going to be working on today is actually the Tree Nun Village. Uh, since I've already started it, I may as well. And it's actually quite a short quest. Uh, so yeah, it should be pretty easy to do. Um, I think for this video, guys, I'll just give you updates on anything that I find really interesting or funny. And I'll just sort of update when I finish the quest because I kind of want to get through as many as I can and I don't want the... Yeah, just my content to be, you know, like me talking about the quests and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'll just update you guys once I've, you know, made a significant amount of progress. But for this quest, we actually need some logs. So let's get those out. Let's draw, withdraw our logs. And that should be it, I think. Yeah, some combat equipment as well. Wow, these stamina potions are like really OP. They're so much better than energy potions. Like, yeah, because my, my weight's really heavy right now because I got a lot of stuff and I got all my combat equipment. Because of the stamina potions, it takes ages for, the, for it to run out, so. All right, guys, we're about to do the final battle here with the Karazad Warlord. So uh, I think I'm going to drink another strength potion and let's fight this guy. So this guy has the final orbs that we need. So, uh, yeah, we just basically need to kill him. But since we have rune armor, full rune set, we should be all right. Let's do this, guys. All right, here we go, guys. We're about to kill him. Yeah, this is, is pretty easy to kill this guy. Not too tricky, uh, as I say that I'm about to die, but yeah, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty easy. So, well, come on now, do a, do a three hit. I've been, the second I start recording, legit, I only get zeros. Come on now, there we go. <laughs> All right, he's gone. There we go, orbs of protection and the bones. You guys know the drill, you gotta bury the bones. Okay, so yeah, we're really close to finishing the quest now, just need to head back and give the deliver the orbs to the king. Guys, we got a random event. Uh, let's talk to Rick Turpentine. Let's see what we got. Uh, can I get through there? I have to come back through here. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Looks like we got something. What is it? Oh, maybe some coins actually. Yeah, okay, probably some coins. All right, but let's uh, finish this quest. Sorry, I'll zoom out for a bit just so I can see him. Yeah, this is the the final bit here. Should play cutscene, I think. There we go. Yeah, the tree's back to life, guys. Okay, two quest points, eleven thousand XP. And the gnome of amulet, oh, the gnome amulet of protection. Cool. So that leveled up, <laughs> leveled up our attack one level. So yeah, it's a lot of XP, but that's good nonetheless. All right, guys, let's move on to the next quest. So I had a look at quests that are good to do uh, when you're starting out for members, and one of the ones that was suggested was actually the client of Korend, and you get about yeah level nine agility. So I think you get a thousand agility XP. So yeah, that'll help us a little bit. Um, but to do this, yeah, we're going to need to head over to Karend and go to the Port Serum. But yeah, you guys have been suggesting that I watch the Glides by Slayer music for a while now. So uh, yeah, I started doing that. I've just been watching his guide. And yeah, it's really helpful. So thank you for suggesting that, guys. Sorry that it's taking me so long to do that. I'm going to watch his guide and do the quest. All right, guys, we're just about to finish the quest. I need to activate the orb now. Um, yeah, the guide by Slayer music has been really good. And yeah, it looks like we're about to finish the quest. All right, that was weird, guys. Um, I needed to travel back here to talk to Vios. I was talking to Vios in Port Saren, but it, like wasn't working. So yeah, I should be able to finish the quest right about now. Basically, I used the uh, the amulet and it just sort of shattered. And boom, there we go. All right, nice. 
one quest point a favor certificate cool yeah that's um that's nice guys all right so yeah one quest point i think we got a bit of agility xp oh okay i thought you had to claim this somewhere but actually yeah you can just do this so might do Pisculius. yeah reading certificate will grant 20 percent yeah let's do that all right nice okay now i think if i talk to this guy okay never mind oh rub antique lamp yeah there you go okay choose a skill you wish to be advanced we're gonna do agility i think just because it's hard to get xp so we'll do that 500 and i think we can do it again right yeah just do agility for both of these because may as well so looking really good yeah that's nice i think what we'll do now is we might have a look at some other quests that we can do okay guys so the last quest that we're going to be doing today is actually the druid ritual so i've got all the items i need all the raw meats here and yeah we're going to head over to the druid circle right now i think the best way to get there is just by running so yeah we're just going to head over here it's like yeah just over here yeah so we're going to do that right now one thing i didn't realize guys is how expensive the stamina potions are like the each potion is about it's like seven thousand coins so yeah, they are quite expensive. They are quite pricey, but I, I bought four of them just then um, because, yeah, they are really useful. All right, cool, guys. That was a really cool quest, actually. We awarded four quest points. Wow, that's a lot of quest points. Yeah, great to get that done and access to the Herblore skill. Cool. So I think, yeah, Herblore is now level three. Nice. Really happy with that. And, of course, four more quest points. Now that we've done and completed the Druidic Ritual, we should be able to do the Recruitment Drive quest, which is good for agility. Uh, because we'll get quite a bit of agility XP from that. Alright guys, sorry I lied. So I'm actually going to do one more quest, which is the Monk's Friend. So it should be a really simple quest. So I'm just going to use the Games Necklace to teleport back. Actually, no, I'm going to use the Spirit Tree over here to teleport there. Rather than the Games Necklace, because I can do that now. Alright, so I mumbled my words up a bit before. But yeah, we I used the Spirit Tree to teleport to the Gnome Village. Tree Gnome Village. And now it should be really easy to you know do this quest because we're really close to the monarchy or monastery wherever we need to go it's random event time number two we got the quiz master let's see all right let's see if we can get lucky again i went out once again i think that's the last one isn't it nope and there we go got the spanner in the work you are a winner please choose your prize a mystery box you know you know what to do all right guys let's see what we get here ah use diamond all right nice I think those go for like 2k, not 100% sure, I'll uh, probably need to check on that. So I think we're about to finish the quest now, let's see, there we go, 8 law runes and <laughs> he's partying, <laughs> nice, let's boogie, <laughs> nice, alright there we go guys, monk's friend all complete, uh, yeah so in this video guys we did 4 quests, wool cutting is now level 13, sweet. Yeah, that's, uh, I think I had one before, so good to level it up. So, yeah, we, we started on our, you know, quest goals to try and get the quest cape. But it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a long while because there are so many quests to complete. However, I've been looking at the optimal quest guide online on the wiki. I'll do the quests in this order, in the suggested order, so that I can, you know, fulfill the requirements before I do them. And then I can definitely, you know, then I can definitely complete them when I want to do them. Also, it kind of sets me up really well because it'll level up a lot of my stats a lot. Uh, so I, I think instead of making these videos, I might do streams where I just, you know, sit down for an hour or so and just, you know, grind out a couple of quests and yeah, maybe upload the stream on, on my channel. I don't know. Uh, what would you guys like me to do? Let me know down in the comments because right now I think I, I'm just doing a bit of a progress update here and there showing you guys how I'm going. So... Yeah, just let me know uh, what you like in the comments and I'll try and do that for you guys. So I'll see, you know, kind of what your response is to this and also I'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, I just really appreciate that you guys are so supportive of me and just whatever I want to do. You guys always, you know, enjoy watching it, uh, which I really appreciate, guys. It really uh, means a lot to me. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, everybody. Have a good one.